Everybody seems to think kit cars or anything with a donor is trash, and the first time you start it up, you'll be like, I admit, some kits just rice out garbage cars for crazy prices, but today I'm gonna tell you about five American companies that make some damn cool cars using Corvettes as donors. Let's get into it. As usual, the best cars on this list are at the end, so if you want to see those, and I definitely think you should, make sure to stick around. Also, maybe hit that subscribe button for more American car content and news. How original. Now getting right into number one, we've got the N2A Onteros from California. It's built from a C6 and was designed by an ex-Mercedes and Porsche designer to be reminiscent of classic Italian designs, which makes sense because it just looks like a European Corvette. 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 It's got a ton of different engine options from a naturally aspirated, pro-charged, or twin-turbo LS3 to a thousand horsepower Lingenfelter upgrade. The downside, pricing starts at 150 k for the base and around 175 for the Z06 platform. Considering you can get a used C6 Z06 and Aston Vantage in good condition for under 100 k I wouldn't personally consider buying one of these, but I guess for anyone who would want to drive them both at the same time, go for it. Next up on the list is the Equus Throwback. With this one, you probably won't be fooling anyone because it's pretty obviously a C7, but they did some decent work to incorporate design details from past Corvettes. The best part to me is the rear brake lights and bumper curvature, but I admit I'm not a fan of those exhaust tips. I also like the interior touches, the little line on the roof, and the idea behind the C1 side detail, but I think they kind of overdid that. I think there should be more companies working to bring back great designs from the past, but some things on this could have been done a little better. They offer options up to 1,000 horsepower and 820 pound-feet of torque to get it from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds and past 220 miles per hour, but pricing starts at 130 grand and just goes up from there. The next three cars on the list show a real transformation from their donor car, and I'll start off with the Factory 5 GTM Supercar. It's built from a C5 and comes as a kit for people to put together at home. Sold from Massachusetts, pricing starts at $25,000. It's designed for LS engines from the LS1 with 350 horsepower, the LS3 with 430, or the 500 plus horsepower LS7 and gets paired with a six speed manual from a 911. Since it weighs only 2,400 pounds, the LS7 gets it to 60 in three seconds and down a quarter mile in 11 seconds. The interior has a pretty minimalist design, but comfort is clearly not the purpose of this track beast, and I doubt it'd be too hard to do some customization to transform the inside. Car number four on the list is the DDR Grolon GT8, which is similar to the GTM. It's also a mid-engine kit built from a C5, uses an LS1 and a six-speed manual from a Porsche, but it's from the Boxster, and the interior is very simple, but there's a little more color on this. This kit starts at just 18 grand and is sold from Florida. Honestly, I really like how the GT8 looks, especially from the front. With this design, if you want exotic looks and a strong engine for a fraction of exotic price, it's free real estate. The final and craziest Corvette transformation car on this list is the Valara. It's designed from the same guy who designed the Vader kit and is sold from Florida. First things first, just a look at that rear end. I think this car needs to see a doctor because it's got a serious case of the thickums. <laughs> but anywho that was terrible the rear tires are 405 millimeters wide and it's got 24 inch wheels all around it can be built off of any c6 so for power from an ls the sky's really the limit the interior is pretty similar to a normal corvette but with better materials which works in my opinion because it's a decent layout as it is the kit's priced under 30000 and includes a rough fitting in their factory, meaning they install the body panels, but you still need to have bodywork and paint done. Whether you like it or not, you can't argue this thing looks wild. Personally, I really like it. I like it. I know, it looks great, right? Another! Those are five of the best Corvette transformations. Let me know in the comments what you think about kit cars in general or which of these you like most. Also, if you think cars like this are pretty cool, check out my video on the most insane American cars you haven't heard of. As always, if you enjoyed this video, tap that like button to let me know and subscribe to Liberty Drives for more American car content and news. Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Have a great day.